hello youtube today i'm here with a new tutorial and in this video i'm going to show how to fix hard drive not detected while installing mac os sierra so before starting if you haven't subscribed to our channel please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for latest updates as i was receiving lots of emails and comments regarding this issue so finally i decided to make a video on it so the problem was when the users are on installer screen the internal sata hard drives are not detected by the osx installer they are only able to see their usb drives or any external hard drives connected even they have set sata mode to ahci in their bios the main reason behind this issue is the osx installer could not connect with any sata drives because it can't find or detect any ahci compatible drives so guys let's start to fix this issue i have to fix the first method the first you can fix it through your bios and the second one is by placing third party sata kits on the usb installer so starting with the first method first of all you will need to update your bios and set sata mode to ahci if this doesn't work do the following settings so guys first i will show you the problem then a solution to fix it so guys let's have a look on this system opening the boot menu selecting the usb drive so this is the sandisk cursor blade 16 gb So guys here is the clover boot loader so i'm selecting boot mac os x from os x base system this is the usb installer for mac os x l capitan because this is a very old system it won't support mac os sierra and it's running on a legacy bios now as you can see mac os is starting the installer is being loaded So here is the Mac OS X installer screen. Now click on continue. Accept the license agreement. Click on agree. And as you can see the USB drive is shown here only. So go to utility, select disk utility. As in as you can see in disk utility also there is sandisk cursor blade that's my os x usb installer and there is no any sata drives so we have to restart it and do the following settings in your bios now press delete key to enter your bios setup now go to integrated peripherals now as you can see the sata mode is disabled select ahci select sata port 0 dash 1 native mode to enable select usb keyboard support to enable select usb mouse support to enable Now I yeah, select uh, onboard SATA ID control mode to AHCI and rest of that is ok so choose save and exit setup now after uh, setting the BIOS press F12 to open boot menu and as you can see the AHCI BIOS is being loaded
now select your usb installer mine is sandisk cruiser blade now here is the clover welcome screen so select boot mac os x from os x base system and press enter Now as you can see Mac OS X installer is being loaded. So guys here is the Mac OS X installer screen so select use English for the main language you can use language according to your reason continue select license agreement click on agree go to utilities select disk utility and as you can see the SATA drives is being detected so here is the four volumes untitled Free and title and the one volume name is Pritesh so I won't be installing here because I have this is a system of one of my friend and I have installed in on my personal system so I won't be installing here so this was the first fix and now going to second method now if the previous method doesn't work with your system try this method so to use this method you will need to download third party SATA kits don't worry the download link is given in description after downloading those kits extract it to your desktop and mount your EFI partition of USB installer go to EFI partition of your USB installer copy the downloaded kits and go to EFI clover folder kits folder or 10.12 folder and paste it here you can use this method on windows 2 now boot the usb installer and you will be able to see your hard drive and you can continue your installation further so guys that's all hope you like this video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share comment and subscribe for more updates stay connected have a great day